Voice Commerce World Episode 5. So a lot has changed since the last episode, which I actually did two years ago. And um, uh, I, I think I, I want to take this uh, vlog a bit in a different way. What I want to do is more kind of set an intention with you guys in the intro. So kind of a theme that I want to be working in my inner and outer life and then vlog as it progressively evolves in my mind through my environment as I go through this adventure. So as you can see in the background, I'm in the rainy Vancouver right now. So I've left Montreal and I'm uh, awaiting a visa to go to Spain. So a lot of things are going to be moving for me in the next few weeks, months, years. And I want to bring you guys into my inner journey. And for this episode, I, I, what has been on my mind in the past, I guess, five, six months is the concept of contentment, which is for me very different than happiness. Happiness is a kind of fleeting like state that comes with emotions and emotions as we all know are not constant. They come and they go. So you may have good grades, you may have a big checkpoint in your career and then you feel uh, all of a sudden you feel fulfilled and then you have an obstacle and then your mood goes down and then you, you wonder like, hey, what, what's going on? Why am I still feeling this emptiness or feeling this lack in my life? Or someone that you were attached to goes away all of a sudden and you're like, hey, where was I all this time? How, why am I feeling so divided right now? So the question came to me, how this uh, concept of contentment is affecting me or how can I deepen my, my understanding of it? And I will be doing this through vlogging my adventures. So as you can now see from the background, I've made it to Tofino on my little road trip. I'm sleeping in this pickup for, I don't know, a few days now still. Um, I wanted to take off, uh, like continue where I left off. So in the intro I was telling you that I wanted to set an intention and then pursue it throughout this little journey of mine. It really has, like I wanted to express how powerful intention is. Like it's been two, three days and so much has come up. So let me just start by talking about, it, it's gonna seem a bit banal, but I went to see uh, the movie Puss in Boots at the cinema with my niece and my family. And um, it's all about these characters that have to kind of go on their journey, on, on this, it's, it's a personal journey that they're going through together. And depending who has access to this magical item, the path changes to uh, bring out their own personal demons. So it made me think like contentment, you know? What makes you truly content in life? And uh, the rising sign that we all have, this, the, the place where the sun was rising when we were born, each gives us our own kind of, it, it gives you an idea of where you're, you will be the most content, where you will feel the most fulfilled. In my case, it's I'm rising cancer. And cancer is all about emotion, nurturing, compassion, um, like loving, loving unconditionally. And that night, like I had like very powerful dreams about water, which, which also kind of, um, allowed me to see that I still had this uh, this guilt from a past relationship that I had to let go of because it isn't my true nature and my most authentic self to to love unconditionally and that's almost impossible to do like unless you are you're living a life with no resistance which I am not but I still try my best to do that and when I have to, when a relationship for example is not working, it is for me very very challenging to let it go. It takes me a lot to to abandon this kind of relationship that doesn't work. And I, I realized that from my last relationship I still had some, some guilt unconsciously 
of letting go of someone I truly loved. But magically, or I don't know how to explain it, but the next day I was watching this YouTube video um, about this guy that's very insightful about the chakras. And this adds to the the concept of contentment, like what is contentment in regards to our rising sign. So this guy was talking about the the center of uh, the sexual center, which is all about desires. And uh, desires is the most important thing because if you have no desires, you will not want to wake up and you'll just let yourself die. So can it it can be a small desire like to eat to uh, to go to work to socialize to drink like it, and it can be more animal like more root desires but then if you go into the next chakra which is, which is the the center of will of uh, manipura which is the sun center this is all about the will and the will is connected with the desires because it's right above it and so what the will is what puts an action your desires and I realized that most of the time we're searching for love itself not the loved one we're always looking for something that will make us feel complete but loving we love love and we don't love the object of love the same thing with desire we desire not the object of the desire but we desire desire itself kind of this wheel of perpetual movement and then it, it came to this conclusion where like true contentment comes from acceptance because desire keeps you running and uh, through acceptance is like the, the idea of being in the flow of things accepting things as they come is what will truly make you feel content at all times without these fluctuations of like I desire this I don't have it pain or like I don't desire this and I have it pain but just acceptance and observance also of these these lacks like if you feel this kind of uh, shallowness that needs to be filled in it's normal that's what desire is it's all about filling and if you use this as almost like a technology where you create a desire that's meaningful, like an intention that will fill you, fuel you to go get it, I think that's the answer. For, for the second part of the video, I wanted to show you a talisman that I made and it was for the specific intention of guiding me through this little journey of mine, but also to give me, help me have insights on this theme of contentment to find these answers within so to start I used tarot and the major arcana specifically to see which card would represent a deity that could guide me through this with this talisman I got the um, the wheel of fortune card and this is a card that's connected with the planet Jupiter which is a planet of expansion and of wisdom it's the the guidance uh, old man archetype planet and uh, I found it uh, inspiring it is connected with the color purple deep purple look they're also linked with the higher chakras and um, so for this talisman um, actually let me start by giving you a short definition of what a talisman is and where it comes from so this this word talisman is a, is derived from the Greek verb talio which means primarily to accomplish or bring into effect. But in its real and therefore higher sense, it means to dedicate, consecrate, and initiate into the arcana of temple mysteries. So basically, it is this little object that you create with intention. The more intentional you are with it, the more it will kind of have how can I say, a reflection, a deep reflection in your psyche and uh, be able to activate some stuff in you. So you will therefore use sacred geometry, old symbolism that, that you resonate with. It can be uh, planetary energies. In my case, I use, you see on top is the planet itself of Saturn, uh, of Jupiter. The sides is all in deep purple, 
and it represents space so like the planet itself is floating on top but is pouring down its energy onto this main object which is the sphinx but more specifically a sphinx that was used in the Amun-Ra temples so the deity you've guessed is Amun-Ra it is a sun deity and it is connected with the higher genius or the higher self in the, the mysteries of the Kabbalah and is connected with the the path between Nedzak and Tifereth. Tifereth is the sun center, the heart in our bodies, it is the heart. So basically it is a talisman to help me connect from my lower chakras, from my more my desires, my bring my sexual energy up to the heart and have a, a connection with this higher self, higher genius that you can call it. So this scene that I've been painting depicts this sphinx which is a ram, Amun-Ra is a ram god and um, it was presented like I said by the the, the color purple these on the sides you see these little sigils it's sigils that are connected with my intention of finding what contentment contentment means i'll probably show you how to make one of those in the next video and then the letter the hebrew letter below is also connected with uh, this card of the will of fortune so here it is gold purple and these little um Called the praying mantis are also a symbol of Jupiter. So all together, it's this little object that you keep, you contemplate, and that gets activated just by the fact of making it. For the next part of my journey, I headed towards Tofino, which is one of the most beautiful places I've seen on the island of Vancouver. I took the time to just wander about. It was very rainy, but I didn't let this stop me from exploring and walking in these trails. And it made it even more special, the fact that there was no one around. So I could experience nature on a very more um, personal way without, I don't know. I think it brings you out of your bubble when you keep encountering people when you do those kinds of journeys. And I was more of a place where I could reflect and what came is about the senses because putting myself in these situation where it's a bit cold it's a bit uh, uncomfortable being under the rain going stopping by the road and just going for a cold dip it just brings you back to the senses and the senses are they cannot exist without being in the present because you live them in the moment so it was really a way to reset and rebalance myself in the present moment for the rest of the journey. Ah, it feels so good. Just went for a little swim in this cold lake. Ah, I guess this, this, this feels like it's kind of living in the flow of things. And also connecting with nature, the elements, the rain, the lake, the land. That same night I decided to challenge myself and face my fear and go on a trek at night. I found a, a place in the on a bench in the middle of this trail and decided to sit there for 20 minutes and meditate in the total darkness with just the sound of the waves in the background. It was a truly challenging and beautiful experience and I recommend anyone to try. Facing your fears this way is a way to merge your unconscious and your conscious mind together. And uh, you learn a lot about yourself. The next day I went to this very very old forest. I have some of BC's most old trees. It feels like you're in a fairy fairy tale land or something like that um, truly beautiful another though very rainy day
I finally made it back to uh, my sister's place. I am now at the same place as the intro. Big difference is it's now sunny outside. Wasn't planned that way, but kind of enjoy it. So just to go back on these uh, images that you're seeing right now, this was my two last days in Victoria. Uh, again, it was very calming and refreshing trip. The whole journey has been uh, insightful. I think that what I'm, I take away from it is how this uh, solitary time that we take in our lives and add the ingredient of nature and you get something that's very grounding and very inspiring. I think it's important to challenge oneself to be alone and to face our shadows, face our fears because often we fear of being alone and uh, putting ourselves in a situation where we have to be is is where I think we grow the most and uh, like this theme of contentment has allowed me to understand myself on a deeper level but also as a collective as I mentioned earlier in the video I think contentment comes from being aligned on our path and each finding our own journey, finding our own place where we fit in in the puzzle. And it's hard to find when we, we are raised in this very rigid structure, but studying astrology and our rising sign specifically, I think allows us to get a good sense of what will bring us the most contentment, where we will be able to find uh, the most joy often comes from the heart. That's what I found. And as cheesy as it is, like, for me, this source of joy is sharing and nurturing. And uh, this kind of adventure that I can share with you guys is just one step on this big puzzle that is my life. Um, I think from reflecting upon everything I've just been through, where the most fulfillment comes that's steady throughout time is when I let my ego aside and I am more concerned with the others, with nature, with what's in front of me, what my senses allow me to feel in the moment. And um, I think that to arrive to this state, we must face those shadows that are, are always connecting us back to our past. And that's what I've been dealing with in this alone time. Stuff like cold bath and uh, cold plunge, like these night walks really allow you, well, they allowed me to be in this state of presence that I needed to see more clearly the bigger picture of my life. And hopefully inspire you guys also to do the same. Take a weekend off, just a night time and one night, go walk in nature alone, put music on, like with no lyrics, no, nothing that can alter your state, but that will just bring you in this mindset that will flow throughout your, your little night journey. And uh, take the time to reflect, what are you afraid about? And where in your past have you felt the most alive? Where this fire, this inner fire has been the most lit? And try to follow this path back to uh, to yourself basically. So I hope you this episode has inspired you in some ways. Hope you like this new type of content. I'm looking forward to bringing you on the next adventure. So please feel free to comment. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you would like to be discussed in further episodes. And um, yeah, if you like the content, subscribe. It helps me a lot to grow uh, with more uh, a bigger audience. I will be going to Spain too, so follow, you can follow the, the next uh, developments of my projects which will involve creating retreats where you can integrate on a more steady pace everything that I described in this video but on a more concrete and structured way. So thanks again for being in this with me.